The Alamite oil and grease ram pumps share a common air motor, which is a frequent topic of inquiries when we are contacted for assistance. Today's video will walk you through the process of servicing the ram air motor. As an additional note, anyone with the oil or grease units running the previous PML air motor may use this process to upgrade to the current ram air motor. The main culprits causing failure of these units is moisture and debris from the air system. To combat this, we recommend installing a filter regulator unit to help block moisture and debris from entering the air motor. We do not recommend using an inline lubricator as these units have an extended life lubricant used to maintain the internal seals of the air motor. Typical symptoms to look for are erratic cycling, air leak when pump is stalled, and failure to cycle conditions. The repair process begins with disconnecting the air supply to the pump assembly and bleeding down both the air and lubricant pressure. Loosen and remove the tie rod nuts so the four keepers holding the air motor to the pump outlet body can be rotated out of the keeper groove. Reinstall the nuts to hold the motor assembly together for the removal step, which we will do now. You may have to twist the assembly at the same time as pulling up on the motor assembly. With the head assembly removed, you can choose one of two options. First is a straight air motor replacement. This is a good practice if your facility has multiple units. You can have one or two air motors on standby along with new quad rings and inner piston seals. Replace the piston quad ring and ring on the pump body. Perform a quick swap of the motor and rebuild the motor for reuse later. Second option is to go ahead and rebuild the motor, which we will get to in a moment. Now rarely does the piston break, but still remove and examine for cracks should the unit have cavitated at any point during operation. There is one O-ring to seal the center hole, which should be replaced when the piston is removed. Add a small dab of thread locker to the bolt and reinstall the piston to the pump rod. Before reinstalling the motor, replace the large outlet body O-ring. Using the lubricant supplied with the air motor replacement kit, apply a liberal amount to all the seals. For new air motor heads, there will be a large amount already applied to the cylinder. Simply slide the cylinder over the piston at an angle to slightly compress the quad ring. Once fully inserted, tilt vertical and press the assembly down on the outlet O-ring. Bottom ridge of the bottom cap should align with the keeper slot of the outlet body. At this stage, remove the nuts from the tie rods one at a time and install the keepers, then tighten down the nuts hand tight for now. Align the air motor with your air supply, then torque the nuts to between 60 and 70 inch pounds. To rebuild the ram air motor, completely disassemble the air motor. Clean out all used lubricant, moisture, and debris from the passages, cylinder, and caps. Recommended cleaning solution is mineral spirits. Please avoid using brake parts cleaner or carburetor cleaners as damage to the soft parts and plastic may occur. Examine for any excessive wear to the bores. We do not recommend sanding or buffing of the bore. Replace any of these components if damage is found. The air valve spool can be further disassembled, cleaned, and lubricated. If the air system has a particularly high moisture or debris content, Creating a cleaning and lubrication schedule will help these motors last a significant amount of time. However, if a seal on the valve is found to be worn, air valve is replaced as one unit. After all components are cleaned, it is time to reassemble. Split the air valve spool in two components as shown. It will not matter the direction this is installed. Slide the first half into one side of the spool cylinder, then repeat the operation for the other side, firmly pressing the exhaust adapters flush with the cylinder head. The end caps have a triport gasket to install. Be sure to liberally lubricate prior to installation. This will aid in securing the gasket in place during assembly. The top cap has an additional o-ring to place in the groove. Use the label on the cylinder as an orientation guide to assemble the bottom and top caps to the cylinder, using the tie rods to temporarily hold the components together for installation onto the pump outlet body. Be sure not to allow any of the seals to dislodge from their placements or an air leak will occur. The assembly is now ready for installation to your pump assembly. Simply follow the steps shown previously to attach and lock down the air motor to your pump assembly. Let's test the newly rebuilt or installed motor. 
A brief jolt of around 100 psi air pressure may be needed to assist in aligning the spool to get the air piston moving. Once it begins the cycle, shut off air, reduce pressure to desired setting for your system, and run again to make sure unit primes and dispenses fluid. Let the pump stall and listen for air leaks. If there are no leaks detected, pump is now ready to return to service. Thanks for watching. If you need any additional assistance, feel free to contact our technical support staff or area Alamite representatives. We are expanding our tips and how-to material. If there is a question to answer or a process you'd like to see from us, leave a note in the comments. I am John with the technical support staff. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.